Hi everyone, I'm Taylor from Lion Concierge Physical Therapy Services and I'm creating this video today just to do some quick pros and cons of recliner lift chairs. Now these are the things you see, they're electric recliner chairs that have a feature where it essentially uh, stands the chair almost completely up to the point that the person sitting in it can just slide out of it onto their feet or the they have to do a very limited range of motion of that sit to stand. Now these seem like they'd be great, especially for our older population. However, before you or a loved one purchases one of these chairs, I really want you to think about these things. Definitely bone density and muscle strength, it's, a, it's imperative that you use it or you lose it. So by not having to use the leg muscles to help you to stand up from that chair, you are getting decreased practice, thus you're some learned non-use, and it makes it harder and harder for you to stand from other places. So by using that feature, yeah, that's great with the chair, but you also have to be able to stand up from the toilet, your bed, a car, a different type of chair at a loved one's home or at a doctor's office. I don't want people to get too dependent on these recliner chairs because it does make things a lot harder in other settings. Now, that being said, if a lift chair is the only thing keeping you or a loved one safe and keeping them from falling to the floor when they try to stand, by all means, use it. Safety is first priority. If that's the only thing keeping you safe, by all means, I'd rather you be safe and not end up falling to the floor. However, if you do have one of those chairs, I want you from time to time, don't lift it all the way into the full standing, only lift it to the point that you that gets you over that small hump of having difficulty standing. And occasionally, Practice standing with a family member or someone else there if it makes you feel more safe from a lower chair. That way you're still getting good muscle activation, you're still practicing, you're still keeping those muscles as strong as possible versus a learned non-use and those muscles becoming weak. If you have any questions about this, I'd love to talk to you about it more. Either comment below or shoot me a message or give us a call and I'd be happy to talk it through with you. Thanks and I hope you have a good rest of your day.